Hi folks, it's uh, Lordy again here, just with a follow-up on the DrawTube Smart. Um, probably noticed that the video and sound quality is a little bit better after the overwhelming <laughs> response really I had to the first review I thought right well I, I better up my game. Uh, Todd, can't thank you enough for featuring this as a guest review. I think within 48 hours I had something like 400 hits which for a first review is just phenomenal really. Um, right I'm going to stop gushing now. Same setup as last time this is just with an Arga T see if you can notice any difference. Yeah, it's it's running a lot better. Um, that's because I got a tip from Grindle, uh, who's a member over at UK Vapors, uh, cracking a little bit of advice that I thought it would be good to pass on. So. We'll go down on the desk and I'll show you this little trick. Right, so here we go again. Um, I'm going to start off by showing you something else. This is the tobacco that I was talking about on the last video. And like I said, it was cheap as chips. Again, it came from Charlie, Charlie's Vape Shop, and it cost £25. Um, but if you look at the bottom there, that's, that's a brass connector. Um, and again, if I just take the top out, I don't know whether this camera is going to pick it up or not. But down there, um, that's another brass connector at the top, which goes through to brass on the top of the centre post as well. Um, now, after I did the review, I'd only had it for a few hours when I did it, um, I noticed that when I tried my Atti back on top of the tobacco, uh, it was giving a, a little bit punchier uh, throat hit, better vapour, um, and I wasn't sure why this is. And Grindle at UK Vapors, full credit to him for, for this tip, pointed out, that the centre post, which looks like it was just manufactured from stainless, is in fact plated brass. So I just took a bit of ultrafine sandpaper and dusted off the, the top until I could see that strong bronze coming through um, and repeated that again on the base screw. Um, the other thing that I didn't show on the last video is this button. If you the lock right up to the top and just keep turning, it does come out. And the bottom of the connector is also plated brass. So again, just a dusting with some fine sandpaper until I could see the bronze coming through on that. Now the other thing he did say, which I've got to be honest, I couldn't see. And I spent quite a bit of time rubbing back until there's no way it could have been plating that I was seeing. He was saying that this bottom connector was, was plated as well. Um, but I was going frantically at it for ages and um, I couldn't see any bronze coming through so I left it. He also said the same about the side here so again just twisted across with some sandpaper. Now I don't know how much of a difference each one of those changes makes individually but according to Grindle you can get an extra 0.4 volts through to your Atti as a result and um, I'll tell you what you could probably see from the vapor at the start it, it makes a heck of a difference. Um, if you've gone out and bought one of these, or you've got one of these on the way, or you were still thinking about buying one, I wouldn't let it put you off, because it's such a quick change to make, um, but it makes such a difference to your vaping experience. I'm going to keep this one brief. Thanks again for watching.